such a gloomy day. It's been raining all night. It's gonna rain all day. What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is the last vlog of 2021 which is very crazy. I told you guys in my last video that I'm gonna be going to Canada for a few weeks. I am actually leaving in three days. So I thought it would be fun to end off on a little weekend vlog. We're gonna be doing a, like a bit of everything in this video. I made the executive decision to not vlog over Christmas just because I really wanna just dedicate my energy to my family and also kind of dedicate it to myself and recharge for the new year. Um, so, I, I don't exactly know when this video is going to go up, but it's probably going to be two weeks of no videos and then I'll be right back to where we left off. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's going to be a weekend vlog. I'm going to start off with another Pilates workout with Britt and Mallory. And then later today, I am actually getting my first microcurrent facial, um, which I'm very excited about. I've heard really good things. It's supposed to be a facelift in a facial. Some of you guys have probably seen like videos of it. I'm like trying to do the action while I'm talking about it. But they use this tool to like stimulate your facial muscles and it also helps with like fine lines and wrinkles and all that good stuff. I am getting this done at one of my favorite wellness spots in the city. Um, and some of you guys have been following me for a while might remember them, but I'm gonna be taking you guys to Higher Dose. And I used to go there a lot pre-pandemic and use their infrared saunas. It was like my favorite way to detox. And also just like actually sweat because I'm not a big sweater. <laughs> like even when I'm working out, I don't sweat that much. So if I really wanna sweat a lot, I have to sit in a sauna for like an hour. So yeah, today's the first time that I'm going back to their location since COVID. And I'm really excited. They are actually gifting me a couple of services and products for the holidays. So that's why I wanna share this with you guys in the beginning of the vlog and obviously take you with me. And they were also kind enough to give you guys a discount code. So I'm gonna leave that on the screen and in the description box with the link. So yeah, definitely have a look on the site and see if there's anything you might like or you might wanna gift a family member. I am always kind of the person that loves to give and receive experiences or like, treatments and activities i just like i like to give people things that make them feel good and maybe things that they would never buy for themselves so i love to give people like massages and facials or um, even like lymphatic drainage treatments those are really nice gifts to give people because it makes them feel good about themselves and feel good on the inside and it's like one of those things that you just like never buy for yourself you know anyway i'm gonna get ready for the pilates workout i don't actually know why i'm filming this in the bathroom but I am going to get dressed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. barely walk down the stairs. I'm walking down the stairs with like a pizza. My legs in a pizza. <laughs> oh, this is really hard. Okay. I am gonna step out. Oh, it's actually not raining right now, which is really nice. I'm in Lower Soho. Beautiful area. I'm on Howard Street. I think I'm gonna head home now because the train is right there. I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna do some emails. Oh. <laughs> I am trying to just stay really low key the next few days because um, there's like kind of a COVID surge right now in New York City, just like in the US in general. And obviously before I go to Canada, I have to get tested. So I just staying at home, not really seeing many people and making sure that I get a negative test result before I go home. So, um, let's go.
oh my god this facial was crazy um amazing but it was it was definitely something that i've never experienced before also i know i look kind of greasy right now but it was it was just honestly so relaxing and so needed it started out as a regular facial we did a cleanser and exfoliator and then she started to go in with the microcurrent tool and i only really got clips at the beginning because i just wanted to like actually experience it but man there's like different levels of microcurrent that they use and in the beginning you don't really notice anything you don't really feel anything but as the current grows stronger it is like the craziest feeling ever. It's unlike anything you've ever felt. The best way that I can describe it is like there's a magnet underneath your skin and that tool is like activating the magnet. So every time she moves the tool, your face moves like uncontrollably or it twitches a little bit. Um, so it's really like an exercise. Sorry, it's really like a workout for your face, which is just really interesting. And then, um, what else did we do? After that, she did, um, like a red light LED mask, which is always nice. And some gua sha at the end. So, it was really fully an experience. I loved, I just loved every minute of it. She was super knowledgeable as well. So, um, yeah, it was, like, honestly, I don't really have words for it. It was really great. So, if you guys are interested... I will leave, um, her name's Michaela. I will leave her info in the description box. She works out of the Williamsburg location. And it was just great. I loved it. And yeah, I feel like my face just looks really healthy and glowy right now. So yeah, in three days, I'm supposed to see the full results. I feel a little bit more defined right now. But in three days, I'm supposed to be seeing the full results, so. If I look extra snatched in three days, you know why. Anyway, I am gonna order some dinner because I don't have any groceries. I'm gonna do groceries tomorrow for the last time and then I won't have to like order any food, but right now I need to order some dinner and I just don't know what to have. I always order from the same three places and it's just like a comfort zone thing, you know? Like, you, you just know the food is gonna be good, but you also sometimes are not craving any of that kind of food. So, this is where I'm struggling right now. I have, I have this new place that I'm checking out. It's called Lean Harvest Kitchen. But I don't know if that's what I'm craving. But then I also have Westville, which you guys know I love. And I always get, this is so bad. I'm just gonna end up ordering Westville. Do I want this though? This is the problem. I will sit here for 30 minutes trying to decide what I wanna eat. Oh my gosh, okay, we made progress. I'm gonna be ordering from Lean Harvest Kitchen, the original choice. This always happens to me with food and with clothes. I always go back to the first thing that I had picked up. We're gonna get the Brussels sprout sweet potato bowl with grilled Vietnamese chicken, brown rice. Oh yeah, and that's it, all right. Done. So I ended up ordering everything separately. They actually ran out of chicken. So I just ended up changing it and getting the side separately too and just getting the steak. So this is my dinner. Hello friends, happy Sunday. I just turned on my ring light because I need some extra help with lights today. It's kind of dark in here. Um, but yeah, happy Sunday. I told you guys yesterday that I had some new clothes that I recently got. Um, so I thought it would be the perfect time to do a mini clothing haul. I have some stuff from Revolve, and I also have a couple of Aritzia pieces that I recently got. So, clothing haul commence. Okay, so before we get into any actual clothes, I have to mention these slippers that I got. These are from Revolve, and they're so cozy and comfy, and I, I did not get these gifted. Also, my toes look gross right now. But um, I will be linking these because I've just been wearing them every day. Okay, so my first thing from Revolve is this long sleeve top. It's more of like a sweater than a top because it's pretty warm, but 
Um, it's from a brand called NBD. Super cute, super good quality. And I love this top because it's a staple color for fall and winter, but it still has like a fun little detail on the sleeve. I loved the tie detail on the sleeve because it still makes it like a fun top. Um, even though it's like a basic style and color. So yeah, I love this top. I think it's super cute. I'm definitely gonna be bringing it home for the holidays. And if you guys are interested, this actually does come as a matching set. So there's a skirt for it and it has this detail all on the sides of it. Um, it's like a tight mini skirt. So it's not really my style, but it's definitely cute as a set as well. Okay, this top is from Camila Cuello's collection and she has so much beautiful stuff. Um, this looks very straightforward from the front, not so straightforward in the back, which we'll show you in a second, and that's actually the reason why I got it, but I just love tops like this. I wear them all the time, especially in the spring and summer. Um, the color's kind of blending in with my skin right now, but it's because I'm very pale, so it will definitely look a little bit brighter and better in the summer, but I just love the background this, so I'm going to show you guys that right now. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try. Um... This is the back of the top, and now you can probably tell why I like it so much. It's really cool. And you can actually probably get away with wearing a bra with this. I just, I think that I would just wear nipple covers or something. Okay, this next one is a knit bodysuit. This is also from the brand MBD, and I just fell in love with this. I think it's perfect for the holidays, perfect for like a winter dinner or event, or even New Year's if you're into this kind of stuff. I think it's so sexy, but still, like, you can still wear this around your family, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, yeah, I love the cross detail in the front. Also translates to the back. And I just think it's so cute. Okay, this next piece is a romper or a jumpsuit. I guess it's technically a romper because it's not long pants. But I hope this translates on camera the way it does in person. It might not, but bear with me. I saw this and this is just a piece that is, like, so me. It's not for every day, but it's one of those things that you just have in your closet for the day that you go to an event or you go to a place and you can wear it. Yeah, I just think it's super cute. I would dress this up either with like high heels or thigh high boots, like boots that go to your knee or something. I just thought this was really cool and I didn't want to, I didn't want it to sell out before I got it. See, so yeah, I really love that. I love how it just like cinches in the waist. Shorts are the perfect length. And if I didn't mention it, this is from a brand called L'Academie. Okay, and last thing from Revolve is this dress. It's from House of Harlow. Um, I might be getting this in a smaller size just because I feel like there's a lot of fabric. And like if it's a little bit tighter, it would be better. <laughs> but I love the print so much, so I'm going to see if they have a smaller size. Yeah, I got this dress because I've been slowly collecting pieces that I can wear to like parties or um, like even weddings and stuff like that because I have a lot of everyday clothes. I just don't have a lot of nicer pieces that I can just grab for an event or for a wedding or something. So I'm going to try and get this in a smaller size for sure because I just think it would fit better. But I love the back. It's lower and it also has like a little slit on the back. So makes it a little bit more sexy. Okay, so I promise we're almost done. I just have two more things from Aritzia to show you. This is a midi slip dress. It's in the sage green color and I just think it's so pretty. Um, I almost didn't buy this because I was like, the colors may be a little light for me. But then I was like, you know what? I can always get a spray tan <laughs> or I can just get a real tan in the summer. So I got it and I, I just am obsessed with it. I think it's so flattering and so expensive and beautiful. And I just know I'm gonna wear this to a wedding or something one day. Okay, and then the last thing that I have to show you guys, this is also from Aritzia, are these cargo pants. I picked these up yesterday, actually, and I'm in love with them. They're in a chocolate brown color, and I just think they're so flattering, so perfect. I did get a size up. Um, this is a size four, and they, they have some room in the waist, but I honestly, I like them to be a little bit bigger, oversized. Um, I just didn't want them to be like sticking to my legs. So I love these. So yeah, that's it for the clothing haul. I'm going to have everything linked for you guys as always. I will have everything linked individually that I showed you. And then I'm also going to link my Revolve favorites, which is just like a list of all the stuff that I 
own from Revolve, all the pieces that I kind of wear every day, like the jeans you guys always ask for, the boots that you guys always ask for, and then there's also pieces on there that I'm like wanting to purchase in the future. So yeah, I will link that as well. I'll have it linked in every video going forward. But it's just fun because then we can shop together and you guys can have easy access to the pieces that I love and wear every day. guys I just got home from a little brunch with Livy I just had to get out of the apartment for a little bit um, even though it's really cold out today but yeah we just grabbed some brunch we actually went to this new place in Soho it's called Butler and I've been walking past this place for the last few weeks now and like I'm making a mental note for myself that I have to go and check it out so we went there today and it was honestly kind of disappointing like the menu was not that great and everything looked super presentable but once you're eating it you're like there's something off about the flavor Livy kind of like made her own thing because she's gluten-free but I got their like signature avocado toast and it was just weird like it had tahini on it and it had beets like golden beets on it and pine nuts so it was just like a very strange combination and I felt like that was the most appetizing thing on the menu so kind of sucks when you're looking forward to trying a place and it ends up not being very good but we still had a good time um and then I came home and just edited this vlog and yeah I'm gonna finish it off right now and then I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night I think I might finish up my packing so that I don't really have to think about that later on this week or like the next few days. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and also don't forget to check out the links in the description box for all the pieces and clothes that I showed you guys earlier and my higher dose discount code. So I love you guys. I will see you in 2022 ready to rock and roll <laughs> um and yeah happy holidays i hope you have an amazing time with your families loved ones or even just on your own if you're celebrating by yourself and if you're not celebrating that's good too i'm sending you love Mwah.